What's up, guys? We're talking about Elvis today. This is the new Boz Lerman film. I believe this is his first movie after The Great Gatsby. So it's it's been about nine years since that came out. So he's back. He's doing another movie. It's the story of Elvis. It's a biopic of Elvis and the story of his, his rise and his fall. But why does he fall? Uh, you know, it stars Austin Butler as Elvis. And he is incredible. He becomes Elvis Presley in this film. Everybody will tell you that in every review that you watch of this film. And I think he'll definitely land himself a Best Actor nomination. Tom Hanks as well. Look, he's, he's, he's another one of these actors that he'll be in certain movies. He'll be really good. But he won't get any recognition for it. I think, like Captain Phillips, he should have gotten a Best Actor nomination for. Didn't happen. Uh, Saving Mr. Banks came out the same year. He could have gotten a Supporting Actor nomination for. Didn't happen. Uh, you know, last thing he got was Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, a Best Supporting Actor nomination for playing Fred Rogers, but I don't think he was nominated uh, since Castaway. So it's been a long period of time for him. He plays the Colonel in this. And uh, he, he takes Elvis under his wing. And, you know, it's, it's a true story. So it's pretty intense to, to see what this guy will do to, to succeed. What the colonel will do to succeed and, and uh, make, make the wrong decisions. I mean, the, the guy is doing what he has to do, but he, he goes about it the worst way possible. If you don't know the story of Elvis and, and, and his his mentor, the colonel, his manager, whatever, uh, I won't spoil it on you. But I think it is very effective the way it's done. Boz Lerman's style blasts its way through this movie, but so does the style of Elvis Presley. I think uh, the, the feel of the film is just so, so on point from beginning to end. And, and I think the movie... It sticks the landing. It sticks the landing big time. The only negative, the only gripe that I could say about this film is is the length. I think uh, it's it's long. I think the screenplay is great, and I think it could get a, a best screenplay nomination. You know, I think this movie could get a best picture nomination, best actor, supporting actor, best uh, sound. All that, I think this movie could get a lot of, of, of Oscar nominations. It just feels like that type of film. This is the first movie to come out this year that really feels like it, it's going to be in the, in, in the Oscar conversations. Now, this is no Top Gun Maverick. I think that's a perfect film, almost. I mean, this is an incredible film. But this, it's the length uh, that, that takes me off of it a little bit, you know, it's a, it's a rewatchability issue. I think when you watch this movie, you're gonna, you're gonna be like, wow, it's two hours and 40 minutes and you feel the length, you feel the runtime, not because it's poorly paced. It's just because there's a lot to cover and, and they don't cut any of it out. And, and I, I respected it for that, but I mean, it's just something that I would have to skip around to certain scenes to to be able to. I mean, I'm sure I'll watch it again, beginning to end. But I mean, it's just you feel it. You 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 feel that length, uh, and I feel like a second time watching it, it, it might it might be even worse with the with the with the runtime. Uh, I I don't know, but I mean, look. This is a great movie. Uh, I didn't think I would like it as much as I did. And I, I, I ended up... Look, I'll say it. I loved it. I loved it, and I didn't think I was going to love it. The trailers for this, I, I just didn't know how to feel about them. And the movie got me. The movie, movie kind of blew me away in a, in a way. So uh, it's one of, the, one of the best of the year. And uh, Elvis is a four and a half out of five star film. I think it's uh, really solid. And I recommend it to, to anybody who wants to see it. I don't think you're going to waste your time, even though a lot of time you, you will be sacrificing to see it. But uh, comment down below. Do you plan on seeing it? What do you think of the Elvis 
Funko Pops we have back here. Pretty, pretty awesome stuff. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Just posted a review for the Black Phone uh, Thor Love and Thunder coming out in a little bit. We got, we got some exciting stuff coming on the channel. Reactions, updates, you name it. Live shows every Wednesday. So come on over to the channel, subscribe, join the community. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. At Ryan King 72 and Instagram at King Arises 131. Guys, that's been it for me. Thank you so much for watching my review for Elvis. And until next time, over and out.